Hi, I'm washing dishes at the camp and uh, I'm doing this off-grid with only a 12 volt battery. They say it can't be done but uh, here it is running. I happen to get this uh, dishwasher at the town dump. Uh, it's only a year and a half old and uh, there was a lightning strike and this thing didn't work anymore and they wouldn't cover it under warranty and so they were doppering it off the recycle bin and I said I'll take that and uh, yeah it had a hell of a hit but uh, I got it working and uh, now my wife has a dishwasher uh, if you look up there that blue light uh, that's a switch that turns on the uh, kitchen inverter it's only a 400 watt inverter and uh, this dishwasher actually only draws 100 watts maximum and in a complete hour and a half cycle it's only a uh, 100 watt hours uh, that's not much at all so let me show you how we do this uh, first the wife looks at this little control panel we have here and you'll see 120 and that's the degrees Fahrenheit that the tank is and so if it's kinda sunny and it's uh, middle of the day uh, she knows she can do dishes. Not too inverter. Uh, not much to say about it. It's run by this little car battery down here. Now this car battery, uh, I pulled it out of a car three years ago because the car wouldn't start. And uh, I've been using it just for the house lights. Uh, I have another car battery that I use for the uh, refrigerator and these get tied in parallel but if you look in here I got a little charge control I built that uh, runs off 60 volts and uh, there's the inverter and it just turns on with this little relay now you can't really read this uh, blue scale here but uh, that's where I get my numbers from and this is DC going into the inverter not AC coming out which would be a uh, value that would be less than what the inverter uses so this includes the inverter losses only 100 watts maximum and only uh, 100 watts for the hour and a half cycle and that's pretty easy to do on any system now the main uh, modification I made to the uh, dishwasher is to disconnect the heater and bring those wires into the power shed and this goes into my uh, water heater controller it serves a dual purpose uh, it hits the it heats up tank number two and when the dishwasher is on it feeds heat the current to the uh, water heater in the dishwasher which is just a coil uh, that's used to heat the water and to uh, do a, a, a hot dry when the uh, washing is finished and uh, you know normally that'd be around eight nine hundred watts and uh, I can put about 200 watts into it with this but the uh, water he the uh, dishwasher is uh, extra insulation around the top and sides because uh, heat loss is a major problem and why these things aren't as energy efficient as they should be and uh, the heater works and it uh, dries the dishes so it's a, a neat little system and just shows that uh, even if you're out in the middle of nowhere you can have the uh, luxuries of home so that's my story and I'm sticking to it thanks for watching